So I have decided to make a test of cheap eBay lithium ion batteries. And this one was for about two dollars, and this one for about one dollar fifty. And their capacities seem to me a little bit suspicious, especially this one, because I believe that the maximum possible capacity in this size of lithium ion battery is about two thousand five hundred milliamp hours. So this one seems a little bit more than this, and this one is almost twice the capacity I would expect. So let's take a look what do those batteries say. High rate discharge, no memory effect, short circuit, overcharge and discharge protection, PCB life is around 10 years, it is green. Okay, this is important for colorblind people, and PCB life is about 10 years. Is there any PCB in it? Is it protected or not? Because I expected this is not protected. Do not throw into fire or incinerate rechargeable battery with PCB. So it looks like it's really with protection. Do not puncture, full stop, damage, disassemble it. So I don't have to puncture it, I have to damage and disassemble it instead. Do not knock the battery. And this one says rechargeable lithium ion battery with protection circuit. So this one looks like a protected battery as well. Now let's try to weigh the batteries. And this one is about 24 grams. And this one is also about 24.4 grams. And for comparison, this is a cell salvaged from a laptop battery. And it is 44.6, it's almost twice the way. So this looks suspicious, they are really lightweight compared to this one. And now I'm going to charge them, measure the capacity and finally disassemble them and see what's inside and if there is any protection circuitry. And now the battery is fully charged, and let's use my special battery analyzer to measure its capacity. So let's set the discharging current to about half an amp, and the end voltage to about 3 volts. And let's start the discharge process. So it's now discharging at about half an amp. And the actual capacity turns out to be 552 milliamp hours. That's less than 10% of the rated one. You must be kidding me guys. And let's try the other one. And the capacity of the other one is almost the same. 554 milliamp hours. So it seems like they both contain the same rubbish inside. And now there's the time to see what's inside. It says do not puncture, damage, disassemble it. So we are going to damage and disassemble it. And this is definitely going to be dangerous, so don't try this at home. We have to damage it, and after this we have to disassemble it. So we can see the metal can with the positive pole here and I can't see any protective circuitry yet. The interesting thing about the battery is that it's something is shaking inside. I can Smell something now. It's really stinky. And what's inside? So this is the positive terminal. There's some plastic insulation ring. And inside... There is some roll. And it seems hollow. 
in the center it's completely empty and it's getting a little bit hot now and here we go this is the inside of the battery and it's some kind of rolled paper and some electrodes it's really messy now okay it's basically there is some liquid and two layers of some metal basically two layers of metal and in between of them two layers of some paper or plastic material and that's basically it it's more like plastic it feels almost like a plastic shopping bag or so so there is no protective circuitry it's just a metal can with this positive contact no PCB in it and there is some black layer on the metal sheets and when I scratch it one has a copper like color and the other one has silver color and this one says with protection circuit so let's find it It's getting hot and the same hollow roll inside this is just the contact no there is no protection circuit you are lying so the conclusion is that those batteries somewhat work but the capacity is really low about 550 milliamp hours they claim to have a protection circuitry but they have none and if the capacity seems too high to be real it usually isn't also when it's too cheap to be real it usually isn't and finally the weight of the battery can also be a clue because the fake ones are usually almost half the weight of the real ones the fake ones are about 24 grams the real ones are about 44 grams and don't disassemble batteries it can be dangerous and I plan to test more batteries and put them in another videos and finally I will put a table of all of them on my website this is Diagon Wild and see you in my next videos.